Today we're talking with Katie Malone. Katie is our Chief Marketing Officer. So Katie, tell us what that means. Sure. I oversee all things marketing, events, and leadership. And so that includes things like creative branding, digital marketing, PR, video, and all the fabulous events that we do. So Katie has her hands full at home and here at the office. Yes, I have a four-year-old and an almost one-year-old, and they are just precious, spicy, sassy little girls full of personality and attitude, and I love them so much. Okay, we're gonna ask you a few questions. Okay. What's your favorite fall 2018 piece? Well, I have two, actually. One of which I'm wearing, because I never thought that I could pull off yellow, but I actually really like yellow on me right now. And then I love the back in black jacket because of the gold detailing in the zipper and it kind of has this faux leather look to it. It just kind of has an, an attitude to it that I like. What's one thing you can't live without? A chapstick, soft lips, and I have at least 12 of them in all of my belongings at all times. First on my bucket list is to go to Africa with my husband. I've been once before I went there during my MBA program for a class and I got to do a little bit of touring at the end, but I didn't get to do a safari. Mm -hmm. And I've always said that I want to go back with him and do a safari. Well, my favorite movie in the whole world is Shawshank Redemption. I'll tell you the movie that makes me laugh is Bridesmaids. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes. Should I not say that? Our favorite movie in our house right now is The Greatest Showman. So I would call my life movie The Greatest Show. Because my life is sometimes <laughs> a little bit like a circus act. Getting out of the house in the morning as a working mom, and my husband works full time as well, so getting two kids out of the house in the morning, there's often multiple negotiations around brushing our teeth, getting kids dressed, packing lunches, whether or not they're gonna let us comb their hair. So then we get into the car, then there's Scream Fest on the way to school, and then I walk into the office and it's, you know, nine hours of meetings and work and phone calls, and then back to the circus act at home. But it's beautiful, chaotic, crazy. Um, there's so many things I love about it. If this wasn't your job, what would you be doing? I always dreamed when I was little to be a broadcaster. So much so that I went to New York for my 16th birthday, stood outside the Today Show and waited to meet Katie Couric with a sign that said, Katie, I wanna be you one day. And my name's even Katie and I got a picture with her. Well, and look at you now. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically living your dream right now. Today. How would your friends describe you? And they called me the mom of the group. Most of our group activities involved organized PowerPoints describing <laughs> what we were going to do. I was the one that made the itineraries, would carry the map and get us from point A to point B. Katie's the friend that we all need. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Probably as of late in the past four years, just that I'm a good mom. Mm. Cause it's hard. Parenting is hard. So to be told that I'm a good mother, I think would probably be the best compliment. This is a quote that I love and I actually have it printed out on my desk and it's by Christopher Reeve. A hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. So I love that because I recently lost my mom to cancer and she battled cancer for 17 years. And in my mind, she was always a hero that overcame and persevered through many, many obstacles, and that's what gave her a 17-year runway after being diagnosed. What advice would you give your younger self? Hmm. So being that I am known for responsibility and organization, I would probably go back and tell my younger self to loosen up a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. I would want to have dinner with Sheryl Sandberg. So she spoke at my um, MBA graduation and I found her fascinating. And this was um, sort of well before she even became as famous as she is today. But I feel like you could talk about so many things with her. First of all, she's had a loss in her life, um, which I can relate to having just lost my mom. Um, and I recently just read her book called Option B. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, I'm fascinated by the cultural politics of Facebook. So we could talk a lot about that. She's a female in business, so we could talk about that. She's a mom who works full time, so we could talk about that. So I think we could have a fascinating conversation. That's great, I love it. Thanks for sharing your time with us. All right, thanks for asking me.